So, yeah, some good things out of it. But with the slow start, it looks like also being attributed to a very tough non-conference schedule so far. Mm-hmm. Every team you guys have played has been out of the state, including one, it looks like, all the way from Fresno, California, I believe, at that St. James uh, She Got Game Tournament. Is that correct? That is correct, yes, sir. So yes, just sir. tell us a little bit, I guess, about how challenging your team early on with some teams from around the area and around the entire United States, in fact, uh, will benefit them come EPAC play? Um, I think that what we're trying to do and what we're trying to establish here is just how to compete day in and day out. Um, And, you know, understanding that, you know, in order for us to, you know, be a a state contender in order to actually win a state title, you know, we have to play the game a certain way. We have to, you know, learn how to just learn how to win, learn how to win regardless. And um, and I think that's what we're getting out of it. Um, you know, the teams out, the teams that we played over the last, over the weekend were tough. They were, you know, very well coached. But, um, you know, I thought it was good for us to kind of see it, see it early, you know, where to kind of help us transition into how we need to compete, you know, at the state tournament. You know, we have every intention on being back there and, you know, having a better, better showing when we're there. Coach it. Again, as I mentioned, you know, your team brings back a lot from last season. Probably the most experienced team in the region, in the EPAC. Um, With that being said, you know, what do you want to see from the team here in the next few weeks as you get ready for EPAC play? Um, I do want to see us, you know, we need to we need to clean up some things just on our end and internally. Um, I think I'd, I'd like to see more of um, just our execution on, on both sides of the ball as far as, you know, offensively and defensively. But I think that um, if we can clean up, you know, some and they're, and they're not major things. They're minor things that we have to clean up. But, you know, of course, things kind of snowball sometimes, you know, when, when little things just become big things. But um, I, I'd like for us to kind of clean up some of those things. And that rely, that comes back to us. You know, we have to do a better job, coaching staff, um, just kind of do a better job of, you know, preparing, preparing the girls for the moment. On the other side, some positive things. What have you liked on the floor that you hope to take away and carry on uh, into the future of the season? Um, I definitely like the fact that we are we still have some young pieces that are definitely contributing. I, I do like that, and, and now it's the other part of that too. Our kind of our upperclassmen in a sense where they are starting to kind of really understand what it's going to take and what it's going to take for us to get to, you know, our, and, and achieve our ultimate goal. I think they're starting to, to kind of see that last weekend was, you know, an even bigger eye opener. Um, you know, so those, those were some positive things that we got a chance to see over the weekend. Coach, you mentioned wanting to get back to Charleston, which you got that experience last year with this group. Mm -hmm. And a lot of juniors, they kind of are the the leaders of the team, that junior class. Right. Uh, Having, you know, them together for this year, coming back and getting that experience last year, how do you think, I guess, the offseason went for your team and knowing that your goals, you know, of making it to Charleston are, are going to be something that you can achieve because you have a lot coming back, but also knowing that it's going to be tough with a wide open conference, it looks like this year for the most part. Right, it, it's, it's definitely going to be tough. You know, we we know what um, you know what everyone else is you know got coming in and, and returning and things like that. So we're definitely not overlooking anyone, um, and you know, just kind of we just have to take care of our our piece of it and really focus on that. Um, you know, with our with our juniors that are they're really starting just kind of going back to you know just learning how to win, um, and I think they're str- we're slowly getting there. And that's what I really like seeing, um, you know, and I think that if we can, once we really do that and, you know, we're, we're going to have to fight our way out of this, out of the conference, of course. Um, but, you know, having the opportunity to go back to Charleston, you know, they, they want that and they're hunger, they're really hungry for that. So, um, you know, and I want to do just from a coaching standpoint, I want to do everything possible to help them, you know, get back to that point. And um, so, you know, I've definitely seen, good things out of out of them we just got to piece everything together coach early in the year here i know you mostly focus on the teams that you have on your schedule but what are your early thoughts on 
all the other schools around the EPAC and how uh, their teams have been doing so far? You know, uh, honestly, you know, we we have had so much internally that we've kind of really had to really lock in on us and really focus in on what we we have done. But I, I do know that, again, I know, you know, Jefferson, they're always going to be, I know Coach Smith, you know, known it for a long time, and I know they're going to be tough and they're going to be gritty and they're going to be ready to go. Uh, Martinsburg, I know, is going to be well coached. Um, you know, Muslim and new coaching staff up there, um, they're going to have some, you know, they're going to have, you know, some more athletic kids and just be a lot active, very active. Um, Spring Mills, well, I know they're going to be young, but that coach up there, I've known her, I've seen her in action. She's going to have them prepared, ready to go. So it's not, you know, again, we're not, we're not looking past anyone. We've just had so much internally that we've had to deal with, um, you know, on our end that we've kind of, that's been our main focus. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, we're still keeping our eyes open to, you know, who else is out there. And, you know, we, we've we got to take care of our part first before we really start to, you know, kind of get into, um, you know, everyone else. And, you know, we, we have to, we have some cleanup in-house that we need to do. Because you mentioned trying to focus on yourselves and when you look at that I guess um, do you think you've found an identity for this year's team and if not what do you want to be the identity of this year's team I, I, no, I don't think we have an identity yet. No, we do not. Um, we, we've had, you know, we've had opportunities in the last four games to kind of, you know, just kind of go out and, and, and see how and who's going to, you know, kind of give us the best opportunity to win. You know, we, we switched lineups up and, you know, we, we know that. Um, just kind of see who's going to give us, you know, the best opportunity. I do like our depth. Um, but I also know that what I'd like for us to do, um, you know, definitely like for us to be, tough down the stretch, um, you know, down down in the southern part of the state, you know, we know what Willing Park is going to bring. We know Morgantown is going to be tough, uh, you know, Cable Midland and, and GW and those schools are going to be, they're going to be tough. And, you know, we, we're going to have to match those, match that energy. Um, and, you know, we're definitely going to have to do that. And they're going to execute, you know, Morgantown and oh, Willing Park even, you know, they execute at a high, high level. Um, they shoot the ball extremely well. So, you know, we're going to have to match a lot of those things in order for us to, you know, reach our ultimate goal, which is to be a state, state champion. So those are things that, you know, we definitely have to do, which is, which is why it comes back to us having to take care of what we need to internally, you know. So that that's really kind of where we are with it. Coach Edwards, uh, my question to you then, how does that get accomplished to be competitive, match that energy of all the schools that you listed off? Because it seems like time and time again on the girls' basketball side of things, the two teams that come out of the region here in the Eastern Panhandle will continuously be put as those bottom seeds getting the tougher teams early on, whether it's just the perceived view that the level of play is weaker up here or if that's because that's actually the case either way though how do you change that to where as you said you finally match that energy right um very very good question um and that's that's been that's a tremendous challenge um and you know we have to know the first thing for every coach you have to know your team inside and out and you have to be realistic on your team and i think that you know we have I, I like our depth this year. Um, in or, now, in order to match that energy, it takes every day in practice competing. And, you know, and they know, I constantly remind them, you know, we, we got beat. We got beat 82 to 36 at a state, you know, quarterfinal game um, because we weren't mentally ready to, for that moment. And, and again, I, and I put that, you know, that's back on me on not having them mentally ready to handle those moments. So, um, you know, so we and we've discussed that, you know, we've discussed that, you know, our energy, our effort are those are first and foremost. And now we have to match the other piece of it. And, and it's, a, it's a tough environment if you're, you know, first time there and, you know, you see the bright lights and you can, you know, it's a tough environment. And, you know, those the teams down there, um, you know, in that other part of the state or just even in the middle of the state, um, you know, some of those teams, their, their players are really good. I mean, I'm not going to discredit anything they're going to, they do. Um, but I 
feel like we have talent in the EPAC. I feel like we just have to um, understand the moment, appreciate the moment, and make the best of that moment. Um, you know, and I think that I, just from watching girls basketball over the last few years um, at the high school level, there's been there's been a, a lot of talent here. I just think that you know, just have to maximize those opportunities when you have it. And, you know, that window closes. It can be open one one year and it can close the next. So you can't take anything for granted. And we can't, um, you know, just overlook it and assume that we're going to be back in that position. You know, so we have to do the work. And so that's our part, you know, doing ment- being mentally tough, being mentally ready for the moment, and then just kind of taking advantage of it while we're there.